Hi, honey. I'm home. Well, you show up for school, and there's a final, and you haven't been there all semester. Oh, oh yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Huh? What about the one where you're you're <laughs> falling, 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 just before you hit the ground, <clears throat> you wake up. Gorgeous. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the one, and I have this all the time, yeah. where Julio Iglesias is giving you a bikini wax. <laughs> Well, in any event, this article tells you how to interpret those kinds of dreams. John. Amazing, huh? Running into you like this. Yeah, amazing. Well, it was nice talking to you. Well, <laughs> hey, can I buy you a drink? Bartender, uh, drinks for the whole table? Uh, no, that won't be necessary. Thank hey, you. Uh, can we at least take a vote on this? <laughs> Would you excuse us? Now, look, I don't want you buying me drinks. And I don't want you bothering my friends. Excuse me, it's just that I could kind of use a friend right now. A friend? Yes. Huh? You're no friend of mine. A friend wouldn't steal my wife and move into my house. How could you do that to me? Because, John, if the situation was reversed, if it was my wife and my house, you would have done the exact same thing. Never. I would never have done that. Not in a million years. Okay, I was wrong. <laughs> Look, I got more important things to do. It's just that I'm going through kind of a difficult time here, and I thought that maybe we could talk for old times' sake. Yeah, well, I don't care about old times' sake, and I don't care what you have to say. I could care less what you have to say, okay? Mm-hmm. Wendy dumped me. <laughs> Sit down. What are you drinking? <sighs> it was horrible. Uh, we argued. She threw my things at me. It was the most humiliating degrading experience, but I shouldn't burden you with this. No, no, no. I want to know everything. You'll feel better. I know I will. I don't care what you say. I want a second opinion. All right. I'm going to tell you guys a dream. You tell me what it means well, to you. Kirk, all right? this is Wouldn't not so exactly far? the best time for a this. A guy okay. walks into a bar, right? He sits down at a bar stool. He orders a drink. Suddenly, everybody in the place turns into bowling shoes. <laughs> So what does that mean to you? Well, how would I know? It could mean anything. See? Believe whatever makes you happy. It just sounded to me like he was wrestling with certain less than manly feelings. Hey, 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 hey. You are looking at one USDA prime grade A man here. Kirk, Kirk, Kirk Just please. yesterday, John, out of the blue, I get hit with a paternity suit. Look, Kirk, class action, too. Kirk. <laughs> Can this wait five minutes? Can we discuss it in the group? All right, all right, all right, all right. Group? What group? Huh? No, it's, it's, it's nothing. It's just a meaningless little get-together that we have. We okay. prefer to call it a support group for singles. Support group? Uh, I wonder if that kind of thing would do me any good. No, 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 no. You, you really wouldn't be interested. No, Why? Not you. Are we having problems? No, 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 not really. No, <coughs> really. Well, the woman I'm living with just threw me out in the street. And to make it worse, she was John's... Uh... Height and weight. <laughs> she could have killed him. Listen, uh, we really have to go, don't we? Well, I'll, I'll get the tab. I have uh, an idea. Why don't you come to the meeting with us? Uh, Bill, please. Yes, Bill, please. Bill, hi, Girk. Please. Uh, you know, We'd boy. love to have you, and I think you'll find it helpful. We're all in the same boat, you know. No, no, not no, really. No, 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 if you really think it'll help. Good, then that's settled. 
but just around the corner. Wait, wait a minute. Are you crazy? I don't want you talking to my group. You're the reason I'm in my group. Ah, yeah, don't worry. Bill will be doing the talking, not me. They'll never know who I am. Hey, besides, would I ever do anything to hurt you? <laughs> Listen up, because here is the really manly part. We all turn into bowling shoes, right? Men's bowling shoes. Kirk, we're not here for dream analysis. This is a support group, and we do have a new member with us. Would you like to start by introducing yourself to the group? Uh, hi. And my name is Bill. Everybody! Hi, hi, Dale. Hi. Um, well, forgive me if I'm a little nervous. Uh, Louise, I don't think he's really up to this right now. Now, now, John, don't be overprotective. Uh, maybe I should start at the beginning. You see, when I first met Beth... <laughs> the lady's name was Beth. I, uh, I, I, I know her. Right. Beth. Uh, anyway, uh, she was married to my, my best friend. And we started seeing each other. And we fell in love. A beautiful love. <laughs> A special love. A deep, profound, and abiding love. You know, I had a heck of a dream myself once. Uh, oh, please, no, no uh, more. No, it, it was a very, it was a very prophetic dream. Thank you for sharing no, that, I, John. Now, Bill, oh. would you like to tell us how this affair broke up? Well, I don't really know where to begin. Well, were there any... Oh, God. Sexual <laughs> problems. Oh, really, Louise, we don't need to talk about that. Ooh. Because sex was fantastic. It was better than fantastic. She said I opened up new horizons. Uh, well, uh, shouldn't we give somebody else a chance to talk here? I mean, the best going on. Let your yeah. friend finish, dear. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Shouldn't we be focusing on the things in the relationship that didn't work? Yes, yes, Kate's got a very good point there. Everybody, listen to Kate. What, 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 what is that, Kate? Well, I mean, so far, all you've told us is that you had a very beautiful and special love and that sex was fantastic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what happened? We just started fighting all the time. And you know what really hurt? When she threw me out, she said that she had been a fool forever splitting up with her husband. What? She said she made a big mistake letting him get away. Were those her exact words? Look, uh, I'm having kind of a tough time with this. Maybe we could go on to another person. Oh, Griff, no, 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 I no. just remember this other really manly dream I had. <laughs> on that club med, right? It's just me and the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders. <laughs> now, I'm a little under my game because I just got finished with the Iron Man triathlon, right? But these broads will not take no for an answer. <laughs> so, next thing you know, we got pom-poms, cowboy boots flying all over the place. I mean, it's pandemonium. Next... Wait a second. Did I say this was a dream? No, this really happened. <laughs> The, the Perhaps thing we ought to take this opportunity to leave before we have to shovel our way out. Oh, no, 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 wait. Well, oh, I got another one. I got another one. Stortuses. Amazon Stortuses, right? And I'm the only one that can fly the plane. So, I get, but I get to the controls. You know what? Uh, Kate, before you go, can I, can I talk to you for a minute? Oh, yeah, sure. Kate, uh, I don't really have anyone else to talk to about this, uh... Uh, I tell you what, I can't even talk to you about it. Fine, um, I, I can understand that. I'll see you next week. Uh, uh, no, Kate, Kate, please, uh, please don't misunderstand. I, I, I want to talk to you about it. It's just that I don't exactly know how to say it. Um, uh, never mind. <laughs> if I get up now, are you going to call me back again? That's a distinct possibility. <laughs> Tonight was hard for you, wasn't it? Hmm? Why? What do you mean? Well, your friend Bill is the guy who stole your wife, isn't he? 
You mean you figured that out? Oh, John, who couldn't figure that out? Uh. Well, Ralph. <laughs> Certainly not Kirk. No. no. I'm not too sure about Louise. Me neither. But did you hear what he said? That my wife actually regretted splitting up with me? Kate, Kate, I, I, am I crazy for even thinking that I have a chance here? Well, speaking strictly as a woman... Yes, yes, I yes, that's exactly what I need right now, a woman's perspective. Because I, I was wondering whether she was um, reassessing our relationship, or was it just something that she said in the spur of the moment? Well, uh, you know, I know when I... Because I, I don't want to be hurt. <laughs> but on the other hand, I don't want to miss the opportunity, you see? Uh, you know, this is very tricky. Yeah, I can remember... I really if... do miss her, you know. I mean, we had so much that was so good for so long. You know, I can really relate to that, because in my relationship... That's why it's a great help talking to you about it. <laughs> I mean, you know, the thing is, what I'm really afraid of is that uh, I'm, uh, I'm very vulnerable right now. And, um, well, I mean, that's why I'm turning to you, Kate. <laughs> Just tell me, Kate, what should I do? Why don't you give it a few days to think it over? Thanks, that's very good advice. I'm gonna go call her right now. John, good night. Oh, wait, Kate, where are you going? You got me into this. <laughs> the least you could do is stay around and help. Oh, God, it's ringing. What am I going to say? Hello's a good opener. Hello? You're right. Worked like a charm. Uh, hi, Wendy. It's me. Uh, listen, I called uh, because I saw... Uh, I mean, I heard. I tell you what, le let me talk to Mike. Well, what are you saying? Help me out here. What? No. You're kidding. Uh, uh, what happened? What happened? <laughs> oh, uh, you don't really want to get into it right now? Hmm? Whatever it was. Whatever it was. For what it's worth. For what it's worth. I truly am sorry. She'll never buy that. Oh, <laughs> I truly am sorry. <laughs> Uh, Wendy, it sounds like you could use somebody to talk to right now. And uh, if I remember correctly, we used to be pretty good at that. Oh, oh wait a minute. I, I've got an idea. Why, why don't you come to my place uh, one night? You were great up to there. <laughs> yeah, we could just um, eat and talk. You know, it'd be like old times. Okay. Okay. Bye. All right, fantastic. Oh, this is great. Am I a lucky guy or what? No, what did she say? She said she'd think about it. <laughs> dream about you last night. <clears throat> you were insatiable. Well, isn't that funny? You know, I had a dream about you. You're kidding me. Oh. Ooh. Was it as good for you as it was for me? I don't know. A dry heave woke me up. <laughs> Love is lovelier the second time around. Love's more wonderful with both feet on the ground. John, you're certainly very chipper tonight. Yes, well, I ought to be. I've had such great news. My ex-wife, tomorrow night, is coming over to my apartment for dinner. Oh. Hey, uh, John. A little no sex I, with the eggs, eh, huh, John? <laughs> <laughs> you're disgusting. What? Everybody sleeps with their ex at least once. Right, Louise? Well, everyone slept with my ex at least once. <laughs> now, ex 
excuse me, but I think we're missing the big picture here. I mean, this could mean a reconciliation between John and his wife. I think congratulations are in order. Oh, great news, Bill. John got a date with his ex-wife. <laughs> what did you say? John, maybe they'll even get back together. I don't believe this. Well, that's it. I've had enough of this crap. Bill, please. <clears throat> My name isn't Bill. My name is Mike. Everybody. Bye, Mike. Yeah, hi. And the woman who threw me out, her name isn't Beth. It's Wendy. Well, that's John's ex-wife's name. Is this a coincidence or what? <laughs> Ralph, it is John's ex-wife. Wow! What are the odds against that? Well, this, this is low. I mean, the minute I turn my back on you, my best friend moves in with the woman I love. Look who's talking! That's exactly what you did to me! Oh, sure, throw that back in my face, why not? I just want you to know, from the first time I slept with your wife, John, I never figured it would turn out like this. This hurts. <laughs> If you're looking for sympathy, you came to the wrong place. Around here, we don't blame other people for our own mistakes. We're all responsible for our actions here. Well, I wish I'd have known that. Because if I had, I would have told my wife, Wendy, I was wrong. And more importantly, just once I would have said to her that I loved her when she wasn't expecting it. Yeah, well, I blew it. But the difference is, if I ever get the chance, I'm not going to blow it again. Thank you, John. But in the future, it might be helpful to remember that we're not here to attack, but to listen and encourage. Thank you, Louise. Shut up, you pig. <laughs> I'm not going to sleep with you. Oh, we're picking up right where we left off. No, no, I'm just so mixed up now, that's all I need. Just what I was thinking. <laughs> now, John, listen, I was thinking about this apartment. You know, there's really a lot you can do with it. You put some paint on the walls, you get rid of this sofa. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, uh, you came to my apartment, I have feelings. I just thought I had the right to do that. John, look, if anyone has the right to do that, you do. But I really wish you wouldn't do right, that. I know, I know, I'm... I know. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. <laughs> Wendy, we were married, and now you're free. I just wanted to establish that I had the right to do that. And now that I've established that I had the right, I won't do it again. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, look, if you put some drapes up yeah. here... Oh. Oh, God, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Your whole life's been thrown in front of your face, and here I am acting like some... <laughs> Incredibly horny idiot. <laughs> hey, listen. I got a whole case of cheap wine. How about a drink? That would be nice. Wouldn't it? Please. I knew it was just a matter of time before you and Mike would break up. But tell me, what was the one thing that uh, made you throw him out? Oh, John, I don't think it's fair to go into the reasons with you. I know, it's embarrassing. You made a rotten choice. <laughs> come on, tell me. Oh, come on, Wendy. You could tell me. We used to tell each other everything. Wendy, we were married. We slept side by side. We slept in all kinds of positions. We even kept each other awake in all kinds of positions. <laughs> no, just tell me. I'm not proud of the fact of how badly I want to know this, but I do. So tell me. <laughs> Try it. Well, Did everything you? was so good. I've never been so happy in my life. Well, not that part. Let's forget about that part. 
Why did you throw him out? All right. Hmm? All right. Yeah? The reason? Mm-hmm. The reason? Oh, this is embarrassing. Come on, come on, just tell me. What did that bastard do to you? John, it's not what he did, it's what he didn't do. Mike is a totally non-expressive man when it comes to feelings. And even when you know someone needs and cares for you, you want him just once to look you in the face and tell you how he really feels about you. You're right. You should settle for nothing less. As a matter of fact, there are a few things I wish I'd said to you when we were together. Really? Like what? Well, I wish I had said just once. I'm sorry. I apologize for butting in here like this. I've just got to tell you one thing, Wendy. It'll only take a minute. Oh, Mike, I'm not ready to deal with you yet. It's too soon. I can barely pour my heart out to John. Wendy, I just want to tell you this one thing. I should have said it before. I should have said a lot of things. But more importantly, just once, I should have told you I loved you when you weren't expecting it. <laughs> I mean, let's face it. I should have done a lot of things. I, I blew it. But if you give me another chance, I won't blow it again. Oh. Wait, 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 wait a second here. Oh, well, why didn't you say this to me last week? Well, I wasn't smart enough to say this last week. He wasn't smart enough to say it tonight. I said that. Those are my words. I said it in front of people. I have witnesses. Those are my words that, that I put in his mouth. Is that true? Yes. Yes, it is. Those were your words? Yes, yes, they were. Oh, John, that's so sweet. <laughs> oh, after everything we've put you through, to bring Mike and me back together like this. Oh, you're a special guy. So special. Love you, buddy. <laughs> oh, John. How can we ever repay you? By letting me out of this damn hug. An episode of L.A. Law. And Saturday night, it's sushi, sake, and sayonara when Lester goes into the restaurant business on 227. Then it's Amen. And on the Golden Girls, Connubial Bliss and Pizza Knish. Sophia and Max have returned from their honeymoon, followed by Empty Nest Saturday.